Wildlife Acoustics is proud to announce the release of Kaleidoscope Pro version 5.3. The new version is available for download from the Wildlife Acoustics website. Besides the usual maintenance and compatibility fixes, there are some exciting new features in this update. Let's take a look. First, we'll examine the Batch tab. If you are processing stereo audio files, you now have the option to choose to analyze just the left side, just the right side, or both channels of the file. In BAT analysis mode, you can now rename output files from the results window by prepending your manual ID or note to the names of the selected files. In the results window file menu, we've added a host of convenient options. You can now select all rows. You can select rows matching specific top one match auto ID, and you can select all rows of matching manual IDs. Kaleidoscope Pro is all about efficiency when working with large amounts of data. Selection features like these may seem like a small thing until you need them, then you realize they are a major time saver. Here's a feature that has been a big request from you, our customers. When you do a cluster analysis batch process, you can now select one or more detected signals and export them as WAV files. The new WAV files keep the original file name, but add the channel, offset in the original file, and extra padding amount at the beginning and ending of the detection. Did you find a specific example of one or more vocalizations that you'd like to extract from a larger file? Done. A feature that has vexed many Kaleidoscope Pro users is that if you move your input or output files, the next time you open the results from a batch process, an error message pops up. Kaleidoscope Pro uses absolute file paths and cannot find files that have been moved to a new location. If that happens and you get such an error, not only can you point Kaleidoscope Pro to the new file location, you can also update the underlying CSV file with the new file locations. This means the next time you open these results, Kaleidoscope Pro will find the files in the new location and you won't get the error message again. You'll notice what used to be called the Noise Analysis tab has been renamed as the SPL Analysis tab. SPL stands for Sound Pressure Level. The functions under this tab remain the same, but the renamed tab provides a more clear description of this powerful tool. Two new features have been added to the Viewer window. This button has been added and it switches the frequency ruler from linear scale to logarithmic. This is most useful when zoomed in. And in the time ruler, you can now double click to switch between displayed time in the window to absolute time based on the timestamp of the audio file. But perhaps the biggest news for Kaleidoscope Pro version 5.3 is the addition of acoustic indices. This is a relatively new and growing field which involves using audio recordings to analyze soundscapes. There are actually many ways to do acoustic index analysis, and Kaleidoscope Pro 5.3 includes several of the most popular techniques for this type of work. There's a great deal to learn and understand about this powerful new feature, so we'll continue to develop separate documentation and tutorial videos about each of these acoustic index standards. Kaleidoscope Pro is a set of tools and its capabilities continue to be developed. Wildlife Acoustics works hard to respond to requests from our customers. So thank you all for using this software and contributing your suggestions and requests. You can expect more to come with future updates. Thank you for watching.